says, Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. The Lord God is my strength, and he will make me my, make my feet like hinds feet. He will make me to walk upon my high places. The chief singer on my strength instruments. Verse 18 says, Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. What are you going to do in times like these? may be seated in the praise of the Lord. What are you going to do, brothers and sisters, in times like these? As I was reading in the book of Habakkuk, I read and understand that he saw that destruction was coming upon Israel, upon Judah. And he saw that the Lord was going to allow Babylonians to come and to overrule and to overtake them, and many would be taken into captivity. He, Habakkuk saw some difficult days ahead. He saw some, some moments that were not so pleasant. He saw that life as they knew it now wouldn't always be the case. For he saw that trouble would come to land. He says that. They will come in with troops and they're going to overtake the land. It's going to be a, a time of trouble. He said when he saw all that that was come, that he, he quivered and, and, and he got weak and, and, and the knees when he fought and saw all of the, that trouble that was to come. And I tell you, as we look at it, says, he says, although the fig tree shall not blossom, neither shall there be fruit and the vine, the labor of the olive shall fail, and the field for ye have no meat, the flock shall be cut off from the field, and there shall be no herd in the stall. He says that I don't care what happens in our day, in our time, and we should say that same thing, that I don't care what happens at this time, whatever virus, whatever situation it is, that we act like that we have forgotten, and the babies just sang the song, that God is in control, that when God says yes, nobody can say no. That's right. I tell you that, and yet we have forgotten that what are we going to do in times like these as believers, we ought to still rejoice in the Lord because we know that God is still in control. Oh yeah, we ought to rejoice. And yeah, I understand that there's a deadly virus sweeping across the land, but I understand that we ought to still rejoice because God is still in control of this universe. God is still in control of the world. I don't care about all of these things, what isn't and what is. God says that he is still in control. Yeah. And look at this. He has taken care of us all of this week. That's right. Yes, he did. Now, I don't know about nobody who was standing in Sunday school this morning, that look at again what God has done. We ought to take it just one day at a time and tell God thank you for what he has done and rejoice what the Lord has done for you yesterday, today. And he has kept us one more time. Oh, yes. And we ought to be thankful to the Lord. And we ought to rejoice and we ought to give God thanks. And what would give a back of hope in such a time as that that he faced? What would give him hope? That he says that look, look, and he saw that the fig would be no blossom, no, no figs on the trees. He saw that there at the time there would be no fruit nowhere. Even the olive oil that they had, and they used that for cooking and all, he said there would be none of that. Yeah. He looked and he saw all the fields were barren, no meat, no cattle, no livestock. Nothing, nowhere to be found. He said there'd be no herd in the stall. He said, though nothing that we know life as it is, and I don't know about you, but this thing right now has turned our world upside down. Though this situation that we face, God is saying to us, yet we ought to rejoice in the Lord. Because what one thing is for sure, I don't care what comes, God is still with us. That's right. That's right. I don't care what comes our way. You see, I thank God that for right now. That we ought to still rejoice, and I will joy in the God of my salvation. Because somebody said in Sunday school this morning, you can you go to Crowley, you don't know when you're standing next to somebody, That's you right. don't know what the situation is. 
And they have said that even people at the nursing home, they ain't travel outside of the United States. But yet they get it. But I tell you, look at what God has done for you and I today. Now, yet if there's a lot of reason for us to rejoice and be glad in the Lord, I tell you, because he said, though these things happen, he says, I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. Sometimes you look around and you say, there's no reason to have any joy. But yes, there is. Because God is still God. Yes, and that ought to give us joy. I know, and, 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 and sometimes you look and you say, there is no glimmer of hope. But yes, there is. Yes, because is. this too shall pass. Oh, that's right. Right. You see, weeping may endure for a night, but joy coming in the morning. We got to get in the morning. And sometimes the night seems long, but I say the joy of the Lord, we ought to rejoice. For he is, he said, he is my strength. And I know that this thing, well, sometimes, you know, you don't feel like you got no strength. Sometimes you may feel like you can't go on. Sometimes you may feel like giving up during this time. Sometimes you may feel like that, what's the worth of all of this? And I simply say, just wait up on the Lord. That's right. For they that wait up on the Lord, sure. he shall renew our strength. Yes, he said, there may be some difficult days about back of face and the people of Israel. But guess what? God saw them through that. And just as we are today, God will see us through this. We just have to hold on and wait for God to see us through, for he will move. Well, the Lord God is my strength. Who are you trusting in? Where is your strength found? My strength is in the Lord God. And I tell you, he is with us. He is there to protect us. God is there for Psalm 91, and we read in the response reading. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide in the shed of the Almighty. All of these things be around the Bible, you know. God be a shield all around us. Yeah. And God can protect us even in the midst of such a situation. I tell you, I'm going to rejoice in the Lord. Yes, my Lord. Sometimes that's the only hope that you can find. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is in the Lord. That's right. And I don't know about you, but I found everything that I need in the Lord. Yes. The Lord God will keep us. He will sustain us even in these difficult times. They first said it was only affecting the seniors, the older ones. Now they say even the younger ones. They really what they're saying is we really don't know. That's right. But God knows. That's right. And I tell you, if we will continue to put our trust in the Lord. God would not fail. God would not let us down in these times. It was difficult for them what they faced. Nothing looked good in that day and time. But I tell you, when it looks like, when it looks like that things look their very worst, when it looks like the night is so long, when it looks like you have no hope, when it looks like that everything is just shining all around you, look up to the hills from which coming out of hell. With Jesus, because he is my strength. And Habakkuk had to remind the people, and we need to be reminded, this ain't the first problem you ever faced. That's, that's right. This ain't the first situation that you've ever dealt with. This ain't the first plague that has come up on the earth. But I tell you, God has seen us through it all. I'm going to rejoice. He said, because the Lord is my strength. And he said, right now, I may be weak, but he's going to make me. You see, He's going to make me. That's a future present. That's a future tense. It ain't what the present situation is. But he said in verse 19, he will make mine. And that's what God is going to do. You see, God is going to do something great. But see, we got to get through this period here first before we get to y'all. You know, we got to go through the suffering period before you can get to the glory. God can, only God can take something back. And make something good out of it. Y'all don't hear me. And that's why he said that we ought to rejoice in the Lord. Because he is our strength. Trust yes. in the Lord. Yes. Trust in the Lord. Yes, Lord. Even in these times when it don't look good, trust in him. That's when right. things are all around us, trust in him. When you have to go and, and you say you have to go, you have to go places, trust in the Lord. God will see us through. He has done it before. 
And one thing about it is, we don't know how long this virus has been around. We only know what they told us. Yes, sir. But you see, God knows the beginning of everything, and God knows the end. They don't know when this thing is going, but God knows. That's why we ought to put our trust in the Lord. And you ought to tell your neighbors that in times like these, I don't know what you're going to do, but I'm going to trust in the Lord. Because like Job said, though he slay me, yet will I trust him. Yes, sir. Yes. Yet will I trust in the Lord, because God will see us through. He is the only one that I know. That is able this morning. Yes, he is. He's the only one that I know that's able. Because all the science in the world, the scientists don't know. That's right. They guess and trying to figure out. That's but right. God is the only one that knows. And why not trust in a God who knows? Yes. Why not believe and why not trust in God? So if you're here today and if you have not accepted him as your Savior, I invite you to come today while the blood yet runs warm in your veins to rejoice in the Lord. To give God thanks for what he has already done. Because he's keeping us. Nobody else is keeping us. But God. And I invite you to get on home as you're standing the other day. While the blood is running warm in your life.
all across this land. Heal our land today, Lord. Heal us, God. We ask you, God, to do it for us. That we would be a nation, a city, a church, a people that would be pleasing unto you. Lord Jesus, we can't make it without you, Lord. If, if there's anything that we know, we can't make it without you. Yes. But we need you, God. Yes, Lord. Be with us, Lord. Bless, bless those of the vulnerable among us, Lord. Bless those that are sick, God. Bless those that are of age, God. Bless those, Lord, that, that need you, God. All of us need you, but bless those that are particularly at risk. Keep them, oh Lord. Keep us all, Jesus. And Lord, we know that only you can do this. Man with all the knowledge wouldn't have it unless you gave it to him. But yet, there are certain things that only you can do, God. And this is one of them. Yes, Keep us, Jesus. And looking for a solution, looking for a vaccine, Lord, you know about it. Yes. If it's your will, Lord, let your yes, will be done. Let your will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Lord, forgive us. Forgive us our debts. Forgive our debts. Lead us not into the Jesus.